Check, check. Check, check. You can hear me? Yes. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Can I have your attention while you're eating? <laughs> awesome. I just first of all want to say thank you to Antoine and Dene. Hey. <laughs> of Aguacate Sanctuary of Love. I love avocados. Does anyone else love yes, avocados? Yes, I saw yes, the big sign. Yes. I was like, yes, I eat one a day and it Ooh. helps. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's amazing. So my name is Tayo Ishola. I'm the creative director and owner of Idol Swimwear and also the founder of the Wonder Woman Initiative. I'll tell you a little bit about that, but I want to introduce this gem that's sitting next to me. Her love name is you. Jennifer Nicole Lee. Love you. Talk Ooh, about yeah. yourself. Oh, tell us who you are. Love you. First of all, thank you everyone here for this beautiful, amazing sanctuary. Thank you, Tayo. You're such a queen. To be in your presence means a lot to me and to everyone behind the scenes that put this event together. I'm Jennifer Nicole Lee. I'm a transformational weight loss success story. And as we all know, it all starts with the mind and then it flows to the body and it strengthens your spirit. So if anyone has gone through any kind of battle or conflict, I feel you and we're here today because we're stronger. I'm an author, motivational speaker, and I love to teach online. I'm an online coach at jnlvip.com. And just like you, Tayo, I am dedicated to improving the quality of people's lifestyles. So thank you. And that's, that's me in a nutshell. <laughs> that's Ooh. why I love you. Can we give her a round of applause, please? Thank you. <laughs> awesome. So first of all, I also want to say thank you to Frank of KC Designs Miami for putting this together. It's an amazing gem of a spot that you picked out. And so I'm so excited to be doing this today. So the Wonder Woman Initiative started in 2018. And that was because um, over the, the, I think all of my life, I've just always encountered women who are strong, women who are able to thrive from really terrible um, things that had happened to them in life. Um, a lot of that being sickness, illness, women that were you know, battling cancer. Yes. I've lost a few people to that. My grandfather died of lung cancer in 2009. Oh. Um, but I've been able to also see people that were able to thrive out of sickness and disease. Yes. And, and I don't talk about it too much, but I'm one of those people who like, <laughs> who at many points in my life, um, like at the face of death, yes. um, just encountering life again and food changing and making a decision to eat better has helped me a lot. Even yes. in the last year, I have completely transformed my life. Also because of people like Jennifer that are around me yes. basically clapping and, and making sure that I continue to go on you know, with the choices that I make health-wise. Yes. Um, so the Wonder Woman Initiative brings women um, within the community that are thriving, survivors, people like Jennifer Nicole. Yeah, I know you have a very personal story as well that led to your weight loss journey. Yes. yes. And so we bring them out to the community so that we can basically empower the city um, let people see that you know they're not the only ones yes. going through what they're going through that we're all in this together and love can really move mountains yes. um, I feel like 2019 is coming to the close of a whole decade and I think it's almost an emotional time for not just me but for a lot of people because you kind of look back to the last 10 9 years and yeah. you're like what has this journey oh. been you know yes. we've lost some we've gained some yes. We, but I think the most important thing is we have all grown. Yes. Um, the growth is is the most beautiful part to be able to to make that record. You know, look at look look back and be like, wow. Yes, yes. You know, all of this happened. I made it. I made it exactly. I'm here. Exactly, and that's why you're here today, yes. Jennifer. I know that 2020, you're already killing it. We're not in there yet, but you're already <laughs> killing it. You have your retreat coming up in January. Yes, and so I kind of want you to tell me, um, just look up, look back at the last 10 yes. years of your life. Yes. Um, and I want everyone else to kind of do this reflection as well. Just look back at the last, last 10 years and see, you know, how have I progressed? How has my health changed? And see the decisions that you made within those 10 years mm. and, and what has it done for you as a person? Absolutely. Thank you, Tayo. Great notes, by the way. I got full body chills, goosebumps of positivity in this beautiful tropical environment where we should right. not be getting chills. Right. So thank you for your words of wisdom. And when I look back at the past 10 years, first of all, I want to say thank you, God, for being here. There's more times in my life, just like yours and anyone out there, where you think, how am I going to get out of this situation? Come hell or high water, I might not make it. Sickness, maybe family have sickness. And you've had a lot of the trials and tribulations, but I knew when you believe, 
and you have faith, these very simple yet powerful universal truths yes. of wisdom and just saying, I will get through this. I've already made a choice not to be the victim of yes. the situation. I'm going to be victorious. Yes. And when you believe in that, no weapon formed against you shall prosper, okay? Whether it's hey. mental illness, whether yeah. it's fake friends, yeah. whether it's a bad boss, yeah. bad boyfriend, whatever, it, whatever is, it is, because the negative energy will seep through some of the closest people around you and try to bring you down. I've right. been there. Right. And what you can do is this. Don't get up in their face. Right. Don't try to test them. Right. You move out of the way and let karma take care of them care of and that. you pray for them and you keep on your hustle because that's yes. where the muscle is made ah. in the grind okay ah. so that's when i look at the past 10 years and i say thank you god because we're going to go into the next decade even stronger, even stronger. and better yes thank you for that whistle <laughs> yes so i hope i answered your question you thank did. you so much you answered it and added change on top of it <laughs> Amazing. So, you know, I kind of look back and, and, you know, we talk about all of that. And I want to ask you, how do you bounce back after yes. a health challenge? Oh, I love that. You know what? It's like a resurrection. When life pushes you down on your back, you better bounce up stronger. That's where the strength comes from. You take care of yourself, like you aforementioned, your health, your food, your mental, everything you put into it, mind, body, and spirit. You give yourself the gift of time to allow yourself to heal. Everything we're going through in this life right now is spiritual, yes. okay? Yes. Your physical ailments, your physical, mental, everything is a spiritual yes. challenge. Yes. So you need to keep yourself entrenched yes. in motivation and yes. inspiration. And if you believe in angels, there they will appear. Yes. They all come together, yes. okay? Yes. And you can't judge a book by its cover. Yes. You've got to believe in angels, and when you do, they appear. Like Tayo's yes. an angel to me, Lula's an angel to me, you? Frank's an angel to us. Because we're creating the change we want to see in the world. Yeah. There's a lot of ego out there. There's a lot of hot, young, and pretty. Congratulations. What we're doing here today is going to change you on a cellular level because it all starts when you believe. Yes. Yeah, so that's my message here, that you've just got to never give up. And yeah. you've got to get stronger. And when you're bouncing back after illness, know that you're going to come back stronger. Yeah on the other side it's yeah. not going to be easy it's not going to be pretty you won't get healed overnight but if you keep on going you will get healed and last but not least if you're going through hell keep going don't keep stop going. okay Absolutely. amen to I that love it. Amen. Woo! thank you thank you child i i love what she said and you know speaking about angels i just have to put my two cents in there so the thing is like, it, it's like positivity and negativity. Yes. The, mo the more you focus on it, the more you attract it. And as you believe that they're yeah. there, it's, it's, you don't understand, like, especially in this season, oh, yes. going into 2020 and all the preparation I've been doing, yes. I can physically see a lot of times. And, and when I see them, but then the negativity comes around. Absolutely. And then all of that stuff is to distract you. Yes. And if you look and you focus on that negative energy, you're gonna pull more and more and more and more and more of it. I got it on my chest. And I, <laughs> very, very true. And I feel that, you know, for anyone who's going through, I, the first few um, challenges I had with Kel started when I was a child. Yes. And, and almost on my deathbed, you know, oh. my mom carried me to the space. And it was a healer, basically, because the hospitals wouldn't take me anymore. Wow. They couldn't help me. Wow. And it was that day as I'm laying there, and I just believe, somebody said that, there was a provision within the universe what? that there could be healing that could be available to me. Woo! Could be available to Woo! me just by God's working. Hallelujah. And I believe that. And that day, that was the last time that I had to deal with that. And, and so I've used that. I've used that for all of my life, if anything. And yes. sometimes you get distracted. You get distracted in, in the world. Yes. You get distracted in everything that's around you. We live in a beautiful, busy city, and sometimes you can really get stuck yes. you know, in that lifestyle. Yes. But coming back to the center, using love as the anchor of everything that yes. pushes you forward, it's everything. And I just love the energy here. Woo! I love it. I feel it. I don't know if you guys Woo! feel it like I do. I'm feeling <laughs> it. I am feeling it. Can I add something to that real quick? Please. You said something. You know what? Before your biggest success breakthrough, before your healing, before your goals coming from thoughts into manifesting into things, that's when all hell will come breaking loose. Yes. 
that's when the devil, the negativity, will try to stop you. Yeah. So people sometimes stop right before the miracle breaks through. So if yeah. you're going through something right now, physical, financial, whatever it is, you've got to know, okay, the devil's trying to stop me because he knows there's a big blessing, a miracle about to be manifested in my honor. So what do you do? You don't buckle, you don't right. get your knees shaken, and right. you don't shake in your boots. You just keep on trucking, and you keep on believing, and that's how your healing comes. Yes. Just like you said. Amen. So you've got to understand that. So if you're going through a hard time or in the future, remember, that's what JNL said. That's what Taya was saying. This is means right behind, but this, um, all right, how can I say it? Beyond that veil of, I don't know how I'm going to do this, is the breakthrough. So don't break down before your breakthrough. Thank you. Amen. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's, let's bring it back to the body. Yes. All right? So how does the body that we're in, the health of the body we're in, how does it help us fulfill our purpose here on earth? Absolutely. Well, you know what? I like to say this, is that your body is a billboard of health. There's a lot of, sadly enough, not throwing shade in anybody, con artists and people selling snake oil out there. And they're not looking healthy. You can look at someone, their aura, their energy, how they project their energy, how they truly want to help heal you. And your body is a billboard of what you do daily. Just your meditation, your prayer, your working out, your eating clean, keeping your, your inner circle very clean. And it really does showcase who you are. Your body talks before you open your mouth, okay? Your body language says, I am broken, I am in pain, I am scared, I live in fear, or you can say, I'm victorious, I might not be there yet, but I'm going and I'm not gonna stop. So your physical is the product of your mental and emotional and your spiritual. It's not the other way around. When I lost over 80 pounds, I had to get my mindset right to get my body tight. If your mind is your strongest muscle of your body, not your glutes, okay? That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> so let me, just, let me just say, so idol, it's a Greek word that means to be discerning, to be aware, to be able to tap into that inner, what's, what's right. that word? Inner that, intelligence. That inner, inner intelligence, exactly, that inner consciousness. Yes. And you know, you just said it. You said, you talked about just the body and the mental boy first. I lost 75 pounds within the last year as well. Wow. It doesn't look like it because I'm so tall, but yeah, it feels good. Doesn't it? It feels so yeah, good. How proud of you. And, and I was just trying to ask you, like, with, with that discernment, how do you cultivate that mindset that helps you keep at it once yes. you get going with the goals that you have? Oh. And just for your health, your overall mm. health. Great question. Well, I know exactly what you feel like. People must have said, oh, you carry it well, or you're so pretty, you have a beautiful face, but you're like, no, I know there's better inside me. Better inside, I'm gonna just yeah. unzip all the excuses, unzip my security blanket of shame, guilt, not having confidence, because all the extra weight gain can be, for me, it was me hiding, hiding the pain I was going through, eating the pain away, self-medicating through food and inactivity. So moving forward, it feels so good to unzip it and let it go, right? And how do you keep on doing it? Well, you have an open letter to your old self, to the negativity, to the doubters. Even I take this as a spiritual warfare in my own personal wellness program because it really was mental, emotional, and not having confidence. So open letter is, I, you guys believe that I was going to gain the weight back. No, I'm here doing my workouts. For everyone that didn't believe in me and said, oh, she's doing that diet again. She's going to just gain it back and eat that fat burger. Oh, we're going to watch you feel again. Look at us now. Right. You have to really end the civil war inside of you. Do you guys believe, agree with what we're saying here? Yeah. Hell yeah, we're getting <laughs> She's like, oh, I'll preach, honey. So you have to hold yourself accountable. Right. You have to change your results in advance. Right. You have to have a calendar and say, on these four, five, six days out of the week, I'm going to have me time and work out and eat lean, clean, and green right. and stay prayed up right. and be pumped up. And you make a conscious decision. And you plan it in advance. And then you don't let anything else around you distract you. Like you're saying, the shiny object syndrome. Yeah. They're doing this. They're doing that. Oh, fear yeah. missing out. No, honey, you stay grounded in your wellness yeah. program. Yeah. You don't crack and crumble for anybody. And you yeah. make it an important business meeting. You cannot miss out on calling sick to. And you show up for the most important person in the world, which is you. Okay, that's how you stay con continuous with it. So thank you.
Thank you so much. Thank yes. you. I want to ask, I want to bring this to, to everyone that's sitting here because you have to be a part of this. Is yes. there anyone that's going through a transition, going through something? It could be physically, mentally, going through yes. illness, anything like that. Or maybe you just recently came out of and now you're thriving, you yes. feel better. Is there anyone by a show of hands? Yeah. Yes. Okay, right do you want to come forward and just come tell on. us a little bit? Come on, now is the time. Please, yeah. now is the time. Come, come on. on. You want to just stand no, she, can, she can just stand there. Perfect. Can we give her a round of applause as she comes forward, please? Yes. <laughs> awesome. Just tell us your name and tell us the story. Oh, okay. Well, uh, my name is Tia Turner. And, um... So after I gave birth to my daughter in about t in 2017, I started having really severe joint pain every single day. And then I went through about a period of a month where I was vomiting constantly and I lost about 20 pounds. And then they diagnosed me with, um, I was at like one of the highest points of lupus. So they diagnosed oh, me with lupus. Wow. And so uh, it went on for about a year and a half. Um, Actually, this time last year, I was in the hospital again. So last year in, in November, I went into the hospital from November until January 27th. And they couldn't figure out what was causing the vomiting. But anyways, I prayed a lot. Um, my husband and I, we believe in God. We moved here to do mission work. And um, we prayed for healing. And then I looked into like going totally plant-based. And so I went to the doctor about a month ago and they checked all of my levels and my lupus levels have dropped from 80, 84 to 46 in just wow. one year. Wow. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all. So prayer. Wow. Prayer. 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 And also Amazing. taking action. Yes. So. And taking I love action. that. I love that Beautiful. because I feel like sometimes when you pray, God starts to show you, he starts to show you where you need to partner with him on the journey to your healing it's so beautiful thank you so much beautiful. for sharing that so i'm going to bring it back to jennifer nicole lee can you tell me yes. tips on how to heal for you as it is unique to you yes another universal truth just like gravity if people don't believe in gravity you walk up a building you fall it's yeah. there yeah you ask you believe and you receive that's it, you know, how can I get healed? There's gonna be a still small voice inside your head saying, do this, try that, go there. You have to trust that instinctual sixth sense in you because your healing is different for everybody, but right. you've gotta approach it with believing in faith, right. okay? So right. ask, believe, and receive. Right. Knock and it will be open to you. So if you are really sick and tired of being sick and tired, you're gonna hit rock bottom like I did, like you did, like our beautiful friend did there. And when you hit rock bottom and you become really humbled and say, God help me, God will show you the way and you're gonna stick with it because you experience such deep pain on such a severe level, you're like, I'm never going back there again. I'm not pressing the rewind button. I'm only going fast forward into the new decade, new year. And so you just gotta ask and believe. And like I said, people want to microwave their wellness. No, you got to have rituals. Right. You're working out, your meditation, your journaling, your praying, your goal setting, and your everyday activities, physical fitness, weight training with cardio, it all adds up, and you're eating clean and lean and green. So that's how you get lifelong results. Awesome. Yes. Beautiful. You can't skip the process. No. You cannot skip the process, it. but it's really beautiful on the other side once you keep going. Now we're going to go into the second segment, and... I want to talk about creating that revenge body, oh, yeah. right? So for someone who's trying to, you know, make the transition, maybe you want the abs for 2020, or you want, yeah. you know, a few changes, you want to have more biceps, whatever it is. Yes. Can you give us three tips and just yes. show us by moving sure. your body Absolutely. what we can do at home Yes. and something easy? So yeah, Perfect. Go. Perfect. Good, good, good. All right. Well, first, you got to always Does anyone want to join? Woo! Come on, you just stand, stand up. <laughs> You're gonna stand up, and I always believe in having a strong, thank you, a strong stance. I always start my workouts with four big inhales, so just give me four big inhales, everybody. Inhale deep. Good, through the nose, out the mouth. H-A sound, big. Two more. Feels good, right? One more. You want to expand your lungs like balloons. Sadly enough, we have shriveled up lungs like little raisins. You want to expand them. 
Then also, you want to always do cardio, and you can modify. So you can do your jumping jacks, right? So you do your cardio. I like to do 30 seconds at a time, and then you can do your weight training. Look, you can just even work the honky tonk, badonka donk. We're here at the farm, right? Yeehaw. <laughs> so you want to just work. Your largest group of muscles in your body are your glutes. And if you work out your glutes, yes, you're going to have the aesthetics, but you're also going to have a fat burning furnace that does not stop increasing your metabolism. So I like to do weights. I love to do cardio. And of course, the deep breathing for those healing of your thyroid, healing of your organs on the inside out. And anyone can do it. Okay. And if you want more, please go to jnlvip.com because I teach online all the time. You don't need to come to me or drive anywhere. You just log on and I will teach you. And it's really fun because I started modifying and now I'm doing burpees at every workout. And burpees are also a great one because they work everything, right? So thank you so much. If there's thank anything you. else you want me to demonstrate, I'm more than happy to do that. You can contact me after the uh, this beautiful show here and I'm always dedicated to your success. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank Jennifer you. Jennifer is found online at Jennifer Nicole Lee on all social media platforms and then Jennifer Nicole Lee dot com. Yes. And JNL VIP yes. dot com. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. I want you before I allow you take your bow out. Thank you. Tell me about your 2020 oh. retreat coming up. Absolutely. Thank you for asking. This is like the Super Bowl of Angels. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're having our Super Bowl before. We're gonna have beautiful women coming all over from every corner of the globe. I've been grateful to have produced events since 2006, so here we are, 2020, 13 years later, 14 years later. Years later yeah, yeah, I can't believe it. Um, to do that, we we embrace you as you are. You don't need to be a supermodel. You don't need to be a certain height. You don't need to be a certain age, skin color. We're all one, and we're gonna do life coaching empowerment seminars, of course reinvigorating workouts we're going to do a detox deep stretch on the beach guided meditations group celebration dinners where we can dress up and celebrate life and transformations from the inside out and then we're going to celebrate also with makeovers because when you feel not good and not beautiful it's a great gift to give yourself when you have your hair and makeup done in a photo shoot it's empowering and we get to celebrate that hard work and so that is the retreat. It's January 16th to the 19th. Information is at jnlvip2020.com. And I'm so grateful for God giving me another opportunity to touch as many lives as I can. Because at the end of the day, Tayo, we all know when you leave to go on to your next journey after this life, you need to at least made this place better than when you left it. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much. Can we just give her a round of applause for just blessing us? And I want to do a with giveaway. Her words. I want to do a giveaway. Yeah. Giveaway. She's Oprah, guys. She uh, always comes with something. Who wants a book? Who wants a motivational book? Come and get it. Run, 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 run. Run. In life, you got to run. There you go. All right. Thank you. Got you. One more. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you thank so you. much. I want to say thank you again to Frank Elman of Casey Designs Miami. Uh, to Antoine, you want a book? Oh, oh. she wants one. Well, well I'll, I'll hook you up later. I'll get your information. Thank you. <laughs> thank you to Dane and to Antoine of Aguacate Sanctuary of Love. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank to you, Tayo. Round of applause for Tayo, guys. Thank you. We love you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, dear. We did it, guys. God bless you, and we believe in you. Bye, guys. <laughs>